This is St. Joseph's Cathedral. I actually passed by it yesterday. There was much better light in the evening. I should have taken a video of it then. It doesn't look like it's even open. I walked back down this way today. I came down Wang Fu Jing Street uh, to go to the shopping street and uh, night market food street last night. Equally disappointing. Those night street food markets all tend to sell the same food. Chinese version of hot dog, hamburger stuff, you know. Meat on a stick and dumplings, essentially. Yeah, I don't think the church is open right now. But we can peek inside. Maybe you can get in there. I see people in there. How do I get in? There was a church in uh, Shanghai off uh, People's Square that I never bothered to check out. A cathedral. There's not much to this one. The uh, page on Wang Fu Jing Street had an entry, but it didn't say much about the cathedral, except to give a date, I think in the mid 1700s for its founding probably by Jesuits let's see St. Joseph's Cathedral known as East Cathedral 74 Wang Fu Jing one of the city's most important churches built Site of the former resident of Jesuit, Adam Shaw von Bell, 1655, and has been rebuilt a number of times after being successfully destroyed by earthquake fire, then during the Boxer Rebellion, fronted by an open courtyard and an arched gateway. So that's about all it says. So it was the former residence of a Jesuit, tireless Jesuits. And head up to the Museum of Art. Ooh, Tai Chi. Hold it, I wanna watch you do chai Tai Chi. Tai Chi Chuan. Tai Chi Chuan. <laughs> this is the shopping street. It turns into a pedestrian street at the uh, start there. It's like Nanjing Road, essentially. East Nanjing Road in uh, Shanghai. I wasn't impressed. A lot of brand name stores. H&M and all that nonsense. The thing about shopping in China is a lot of stuff costs more here. Anything that's imported costs more for sure. But oddly, even some of the clothing that I think is probably made here costs, it's either more expensive or about the same price as you would get home. And then you have to wonder if you're going to have to pay duty on it when you bring it in, you know, and uh, if it's fake. So why bother shopping here? That's my take on it. They're all over you too, if you have global entry. People get their global entry taken away for uh, bringing in a pair of headphones, a pair of fake headphones or something, you know? It's not with that bullshit.